Here is the next question. When the physical Bunley cells are placed during the physical descent process? The physical Bunley cells are the non-functional cells that are placed at the specific stages during the physical descent process. Now let us see about the various physical Bunley cells, their typical usage and their insertion in design during the physical descent process. Some of the physical Bunley cells here listed out are the well tap cells followed by N capsules, then the D capsules, followed by filler cells, spare cells, and finally the isolation cells. Now let us see the brief discussion about all these cells one by one. First, let us start with the tap cells. Tap cells, also known as well tap cells, are placed during the pre-placement stage of the physical design process. Now what is pre-placement stage? The pre-placement stage actually occurs after the macro placement and power rail creation. So, the tap cells are strategically placed at the regular intervals in each cell row of the standard cell placement to prevent the latch up issues in the design by connecting the N well to the VDD and the P substrate to the BSS. Here, the maximum distance between the tap cells that the tool places on the cell rows must comply with the design rules of the specific technology library being used. The next physical only cell is the end cap cell. End cap cells are added after the macro placement and the site creation. As they are the pre-placed cells, they are positioned before the standard cell placement. And moreover, the end cap cells are positioned at both the ends of the placement row so as to terminate the cell rows. The primary reasons for placing the end cap cells are for the gate protection of the standard cell and for the DRC compliance. Now with respect to the gate protection, I can say the end cap cells protect the gates of the standard cells which are located near the boundary from the damage that happens during the chip manufacturing. Now, with respect to the DRC compliance, these end cap cells also helps to avoid the base layer design rule check violations such as the end well and the implant layer rules at the boundary. Now, the next physical only cell is the D cap cells. D cap cells, short for decoupling capacitors, are the charge storing devices which are made up of capacitors. They serve to support the instant current requirements in the power delivery network of a chip. Actually, when there is a sudden large current demand in the circuit, such as during the input transitions, these D cap cells provide the necessary charge to prevent the voltage drop or the ground bounce. Now, with respect to the placement of the D cap cells, D cap cells are typically placed after the power planning stage and before the standard cell placement, that is the pre-placement stage. They are uniformly distributed throughout the design. The next physical only cell are the filler cells. Filler cells are the cells which are inserted by the PNR tool so as to fill the gaps in the layout after the placement and the routing is completed. Filler cell insertion must be completed before the physical verification can begin. And the purpose of the filler cell is to provide the continuity in the rows for the VDD and the VSS nets for the stable operation of the standard cells. The next physical only cell is a spare cell. The spare cells are added before the placement of the standard cells throughout the design. The purpose of the spare cell is to provide flexibility for the future modification of the design. That is, if any functionality issue is found in the chip after the fabrication or if the functionality enhancement is required in the next fabrication, then the spare cells allows for easy modification. And also, the spare cells enable us to modify or improve the chip's functionality with minimal changes in the mask. That is, we can use the already placed spare cells from the nearby locations and modify the metal interconnect without altering the base layers. 
and the final physical only cell is the isolation cell. Isolation cells are placed at the interface between two power domains that can be shut down and those that are on, always in on condition. The purpose of the isolation cell is to ensure that signals do not propagate incorrectly between two power domains. So these are all the physical only cells that are placed during the physical design process. 